Hi, <clears throat> this is Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University. In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of the sulfur-containing functional groups commonly found in organic uh, molecules. So the first functional group I want to talk to you about is the thiol functional group. Uh, and the thiol functional group is characterized by having uh, a sulfur-hydrogen single bond. And then some uh, hydrocarbon group attached to it. Right. So, you know, R can be a lot of things. Um, as an example of a thiol, we might have this compound here with uh, the name ethane thiol. Thiols are similar a little bit in structure to alcohols, except with oxygen replacing sulfur. Another common sulfur containing functional group is the sulfide. Uh, sulfide is the sulfur analog of the ether with um, sulfur replacing oxygen. So uh, a sulfide is a sulfur containing functional group with two hydrocarbon groups attached to a single sulfur atom. And here is an example, diethyl sulfide. Another an important functional group is the disulfide functional group. This is a functional group with uh, two sulfur atoms uh, singly bonded together. This is the uh, sulfur analog of the peroxide. Uh, so, uh, disulfide functional groups are important in biology in terms of holding uh, disulfide bridges, holding proteins together. Uh, and so in a video upcoming on disulfides, I'll show a little bit more about that. And here is an example of a disulfide, diethyl disulfide. Uh, the remainder, uh, well, actually let's do one more here. It's called this the the thioester, this is an analog of an ester where one oxygen atom has been replaced by a sulfur. And I'm not going to give a, I'll draw a specific example, but I'm not going to try to name it because Now, uh, the remainder of the functional groups I'm going to talk about all contain sulfur in higher oxidation states, so contain sulfur with uh, bonds to oxygen. So here's an example uh, with one bond, one uh, sulfur uh, oxygen bond, the sulfoxide functional group. And uh, you may have encountered this sulfoxide functional group before in the form of dimethyl sulfoxide, a common polar aprotic solvent for, for SN2 reactions and other uh, similar reactions. It's worth noting that for the sulfoxide, uh, that, some, that the, the sulfoxide looks like a, a ketone, but it's actually not. The sulfur atom has a lone pair on it still. And so the, the overall arrangement of these atoms is not um, kind of what you think it ought to be. Oops. Yeah. <clears throat> right, that, the, that this is a trigonal pyramidal kind of structure. And, and it's also worth noting that some folks would represent this as a sulfur oxygen single bond with a positive charge on sulfur and a negative charge on oxygen. That's a, a legitimate rep, uh, sort of resonance contributor. <clears throat> Onwards to uh, two oxygen atoms bonded to sulfur. The next uh, kind of compound is a sulfone. And I'm actually going to draw the sulfone see like this uh, is that sulfur atom is kind of tetrahedrally arranged even though it's a uh, 
hold on a moment, even though it is uh, got all these multiple bonds to oxygen. So here's a specific sulfone. I've been using dimethyls and diethyls, so this is diethyl sulfone. We can increase the, uh, you know, the oxygen content and have sulfonic acids. I just got some kind of notification there, so I, I am apologizing for that ding dong in the background. So you can have these sulfonic acids. That these uh, sulfonic acids tend to be fairly strong acids, not uh, unlike sulfuric acid. They're pretty similar to strong sulfuric acid, and depending on the functional group attached to them, maybe a little bit weaker, maybe a little bit stronger. So here is an example: sulfonic acid, benzene sulfonic acid. And then we have encountered, we perhaps have encountered a sulfonate esters before. Now this is a, a derivative of the sulfonic acid, where instead of having an OH, we have uh, another alkyl or hydrocarbon group attached. And <clears throat> it's most likely that we have encountered these in terms of the toluene sulfonate or other kinds of sulfonate esters that are good leaving groups as a way of converting an alcohol into a good leaving group. So here's ethyl toluene sulfonate. Uh, and it's worth noting that there are other kinds of sulfur containing functional groups, but uh, these are the ones uh, that show up most commonly in the structure of organic compounds. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the nomenclature of at least uh, thiols and sulfides, and then uh, I'll cover the reactivity of some of these functional groups in later videos in this series. Thanks for watching.